All right, all right. The time be now. Time be now. Oh, I'm tired, everybody. When am I not tired? Let's talk about this. When am I not tired? Hmm? It's what I thought. <sighs> Just finished sounding me my protein meal replacement beverage. We have a game here to play that is uh, not brand, brand new. I think it was like, what, July? Couple months? Couple months now? But I've had it for a while and I've been meaning to play it. So I'm here to play it. Other games were like taking precedent. Like we were playing Monster Hunter at the time and I was like, I want to keep playing Monster Hunter so bad. So I kept playing Monster Hunter because it was so good. Now I need water. I drank that whole protein shake and now I'm like... And now I'm not hydrated enough and I can't breathe. Because uh, I didn't... I decided to, for whatever reason, to stop breathing before I decided to finish that sentence and then drink the beverage. Look, I'm not smart when I'm tired. When I'm lacking in sleep. Because that's just what it is. Anyway, uh, Baron Breakfast looked like a charming little game. And I wanted to play it, so I got it. And I'm finally getting to. I haven't played it thus far, so... Your experience is going to be my experience in this one. I am learning new things. Empty slot. Hit accept. Um, I did notice this game had a bit of a loading screen. Oh, okay, it's just... I was gonna worry about some loading stuff, because when I first loaded the game, there were some loading screen issues, so... Why can I never fall asleep on time? Okay, this game's speaking my language already. This game has won me over. I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Game. What was I just talking about? Mom's gonna kill me. Okay, that one's not so much. Uh, Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead is heavy with a crushing pressure. There's a bird man. It looks like Stolas is watching me. Go watch Hell of a Boss, all of you. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded. Suddenly, a blinding shot of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Amen, game. Amen. Who needs sleep in this day and age? I am a bear. Hello? I can't move. I, I, I can tell. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. WASD to move around. Well, that's convenient. This bear is... Such like me. Find. You mean like an introspection thing? You sassy bear. You sassy. Bed. Aha! Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll just. Take a nap in the deathbed. Oh, bear, you are just like me. E to interact. I'm snuggling. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. No, <laughs> really not. Hold on one second. Business tax happen.
Thought I heard something. Heard nothing. I don't know. Hold on one second. See how that we'll see how that work stuff pans out. Well, I found the door. I live in a cave. With no doing did it tell me what I was doing and I just miss it did I just miss what it told me to do look at me I'm a bear Show tutorial. Hmm. I don't know what you want from me, game. Game unclear. There's a door. I found the door. Oh, hello. I'm up. I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones, maybe? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Heard that one before. Gee, thanks. No, I'm... Where's Annie? No, oh, in a room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. All right, then. Basics, while in adventure mode, you can control hand, WASD, yep. Which one are you? Good. Get out. <laughs> I like this bird. I like this bird. This bird make me happy. Morning out. It's not a very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Amen. I don't smell any reason to be up yet. Okay, this game's speaking my language. Oh my god. What do you mean? I could smell them a mile away. Delightful. The both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today. Check out, check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. Bears! Ah, uh, Zariah, what up? What's going on, Zariah? How's it going? How was your day? How was your evening? Or whichever it is. Mm. 
Work. Why is why work email? Why what? What? Interesting. Don't cross the creek. Ben is there. Damn it, Ben. Every time. I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed to pass the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. <laughs> well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. 10.15pm. It's night. Fabulous. 10.15. Okay. I know roughly about... Where's about... It's only 8.15 for me. This mountain time business. Oh my goodness. Work. You're on his side now. All right, work. I'm going to try to shut you out. <clears throat> it's morning. We're up. Let's do stuff. Stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. I, this bird makes me happy. I thought it was morning. Hank, kid. Over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Oh, that dog's so excited. That dog's just absolutely so excited to be digging. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. What's this couple dynamic? I want to know what this couple dynamic is. It's a bird and a dog, right? It isn't morning. It's morning. You got me there. You got me there. Ooh, water. Wait, whistle. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right. Point me to the hole. To black moss. <gasps> The what? What? Boo boo. I know I said no going past fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. <gasps> that dog is so happy. The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick. And the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. I got a notebook. Fabulous. But don't lose it again. This sounds like this has happened before. I don't know why you would trust me with it. No, I won't. He will. He will. I will. I will. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, Ma. Let me adjust one little audio thing. There we go. Can't read what it says. I'm a bear. Why on earth did I ever think I could read? I like the way I walk. Just all I'm all floppy. I found the fence. I love characters like this, they just... They flop about. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Does, okay, this boy just hops. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the... Carolian and Carolian? Carolian? 
Dog. Brave but clumsy. Will. The poor Will. <laughs> Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. I love this bird. This bird's my favorite. And Hank, the brown bear. Sounds like a lot like Lord of the Rings in Hobbiton. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be nice, though? What was it? Hank the brown bear. Cheer cheerful and curious. But maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in, in an adventurous fashion. I promise. Traveling. All right, gang. Spread, spread out, spread out. Ooh, ooh. What are we spreading out for? I forgot what we're doing. You're looking for stuff. I'm gathering things. Tire screech. This isn't made in America. Are you the streamer or the cat? I'm gonna assume I'm the uh, the streamer, cause that is Esper. Hi, sweetie. What's up? And she's sleeping. Kind of. Hi. <laughs> That's Esper. That's my cat. Isn't she lovely? It's cleaning. What in the what? Now I heard it too. We we'd better go. Well, we haven't found the thing. Your mommy. I love her little derp eyes. Her derp. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That, that's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No! Come back! Oh, they left. They left you. My guy, come on. Hold on. Ooh, a little eyeball thingy. That's one big rock. Thanks. Thanks for that clarification, game. Alright. So I can't just wander through those. I have very clear paths set before me. Oh, we went past the swamp. <laughs> Little rebel achievement. Luxurious outhouse. Yeah, that's the word for it. What's going on over here? You strike me as a real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. I want a cannoli. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Sounds like my sales guy at work. A strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and were and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Eh. Nothing weird about it. Nothing weird about it at all. Not, not a thing. Nothing to lose. Nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat. Show how it's boss. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Is, is, is someone in there? You, there. Fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Oh, well, I'm not anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. We're sharing a minor? How exactly are you talking? Pawn Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. <laughs> what, what the? Offering secured tourist, touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. Oh, that sounds dangerous. 
Yeah, you lost me. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice, and we'll give you a one to three day all inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Bond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley, we will take any location or premises. No matter how run down or decrepit. To offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait. Humans? To live? Here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. Humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. And they stare at the trees. Try to forget whatever they're running from. Big old oo right there. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage Premium Premises by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. So, are we touching it? <laughs> Shark oil achievement. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello? Can you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human. Back. Money. Give. Good. Why... Why use many word when few do trick? Or why many word when few do trick? Something like that. I think that's how that goes. Isn't that how that goes? Something like that. Something like that. Anyway. I've never actually watched The Office, okay? Give me a break. Give me a break. I've never actually watched it. I'm gonna be honest, it's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. I'm gonna press the button. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat. Show it who's boss. You know, we've seen this before. Press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Did we press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest? Alright. Who knows anything about human houses? I, I barely know anything about human houses. Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. Go bear. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. Yo, Fitz, what up? How's it going? We're playing 
fair in breakfast. Right now we're getting a whole lot of story though. Mm -hmm. I doubt he ever felt... I doubt he ever left sawdust. There we go. Oh my goodness. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Where is this bear? Or er, Tony. All it's missing is a picnic table. I do enjoy a picnic table. Traveling. Sawdust. Seen a bunch of stuff, like... I'm seeing collectibles around. Can I, like... Walk past this and pick it up? Yes, I can. I bet this is something he's gonna want me to go look for... Later on anyway, so... Let's just click it while I got it. Tony's a beaver. Got it. Oh my god. A bear! It's just me, sir. Hank. F from the thicket? Oh goodness. You can talk? So is the beaver. Yeah, I'm just yanking your tail. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask you if you could help us. We've got a... Help? Well, why didn't you say so? What do you need? Stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, oh! Redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What can I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. I, it felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Now look here. Elaborate contours. Naughty frames. <laughs> perfect angles. I like how he's getting all blushy over this. <laughs> Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Oh. Can, can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes. Well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh. How wonderful. Well, need my... Backsaw and mallet, a ladder, oh, and a couple stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. They are, in fact, all yellow. Well, I found that. I got a couple stacks. Was that everything? Like, I got a couple stacks on my way in, didn't I? So, did you find all the wood? Yep, got it all right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it off the ground. Absolutely amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Oh, you're gonna go that way? Hold on, there was more wood up there. Can I go, uh, snag it? Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. Give me all this stuff. Take it all. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those types of games where I get to run around and, like, collect stuff, build with it. I was about to say, you're, like, on a little clip base or whatever. An annoying little predicament space. All right, we should probably just get back and just keep the let's get the story rolling. I think I got caught on the. There we go. 
about to say, I can just leave this spot and it'll all work out grandly. We got a bunch of stuff, we're fine. You only said to get a couple. We only got a couple. That all kind of works out, right? Right? To Timber Crossing. Did I not just... There's a difference between that spot and that spot and this spot. Apparently. More wood. Um, you can't beat wood. Yes. All of this is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shit. I haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look, who decided to finally sh look who just finally decided to show up. As I was telling your friend there, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. Think got it? Did you clean up the shed? Absolutely. Yup. Great. Now, we'll have to use this old workbench. The what now? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. Table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. I gotta put it back together? Oh, the... I gotta fix the the workbench. Got it. It's all making much more sense. Can I be used to build rooms and craft furniture? Okay. Did you get that workbench fixed? You know what I did, boss. Like a brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Hey, excuse me. Like I'm not a beaver. I don't. I'm not an expert with wood. Now, excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, there's none of there's none of those things, but it'll do. Stock update, pond voyage. As new items available, okay. Unlock the new crafting recipe. Shabby pallet bed recipe. That sounds like fun. Go make one of the workbench. Crafting. Well, I made one. Were you able to make that bed? Yep, got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. But here we are. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, oh I, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well... Hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Minimum size 2 by 3 Hold on, so do I want to do like a... I mean, of course, the thing's gonna go like this. Let me take this and we slap it in there, all nice and cozy like. Ah, there we go. There's a little. 
Create room checkpoint, check mark. Interface is a little wonky, but we're kind of get we're working around it. We're learning, we're learning. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir, stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. I, I too, encourage the weird. Weird is good. Gummy bear. Oh. No, oh, I forgot I already pulled one. Now we're wrong. Alright, now is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. By having someone around that they can look down on. You sure know him. You sure seem to know a lot about that. <laughs> He's making fun of it. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the of the, uh, the front of the house. That tells them where to go, and a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Front desk recipe, okay. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed, and then it's time to rake in the dough. Seems easy enough. Crafting front desk. Craft the front desk. There we go. That looks fine for now. Did you place the front desk? Yep, it's in there. Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. Oh. The bleshy beaver. It's nothing that great. It took me forever, and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? Sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you? Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. Alright, let's go talk to the bear then. Or, not the bear. Oh, I'm the bear. Talk to the inflatable thingy. Yeah, yeah, throat, business, blah, blah, blah. Press the green button. Hello. I'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. The network. Yay. Time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were... Godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you asked Hank. If you asked Hank. Ugh. I am fumbling over words so badly tonight. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations, your premier property is now listed on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Okay. Welcome everybody, I'm a bear. Guest requests. Okay. Hit accept. Assign them to a room. And fabulous. One guest arrived at some of your resorts. So I'm gonna get the opportunity for more. Hello, ma'am. Welcome. Yes, madam, goodbye. Leaves in two days. Okay, so they're just gonna, like, wander about. 
on management from the front desk. The resort overview panel will show all the active resorts you've discovered. So I can discover more. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests, and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning, new guests will request to stay at your resorts. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Use the guest acceptance. Use the accept button. Ah, I. Mm. Use the accept button to accept a guest request. There we go. Good lord. Assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match the bedroom scores to the guest demands for better reviews and payouts. You can get more guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments. While you are off on an adventure in another location, your resorts will still run. Okay. So do I talk to the shark again? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, throat, business, blah, blah, blah. Press the green button. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But, you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. I certainly hope so. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Do I talk to you again? You got a little exclamation mark. Uh oh, alert, alert. Looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't. Prestige. Oh. That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. Sorry, ugly. But it looks just like my room. Ooh, ooh. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing. By adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Okay. Uh, prestige is the sum of all decoration ac scores across the resort. So, okay. A resort's prestige can be found in the resort overview panel. Increase prestige by increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. Most objects have a decoration score, either positive or negative. Okay. And that's the thing I just build right over here. Let's have a look. Let's give it a... What? Humans have weird expectations, especially around where they live. If a place doesn't have enough wild plants, it appara it's apparently too ugly. Prestige is the total amount of decoration in a resort, and we should get it up to level 2. You remember the old dumpster in the north of Timber Crossing that you'd go diving in with Will? You should check it for... You should check it for some decor decorative things that you could then place around inside the dinky shed to make it more appealing. Okay. Uh, according to my little arrow thingy, it's this way. There's all that stuff over here. Boy, howdy, there's a lot of crap. Oh, hello, what are you? Took. Whoa there, big fella. Whoa there, whoa there. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? All right, enough of the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? Mac? I'm looking for something humans-like. Something that would make them feel more... How do you say? Distinguished. Slop? Scrap? Rubble? No. I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great. Let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast there, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anybody off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. 
Although I do spend a lot of time down there. Yeah, my head's up in the gutter for, for you know, a good stretch of time as well. Right there with you, raccoon. Right there with you. But, you gotta be approved before I can tell you anything. I'll tell you what. There's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from there. Find me a snack, then we can talk. Okay. To the tuna! To the tuna! Hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? I haven't seen your likes around my bus before. Bear noise. That was a terrible bear noise. Oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here, if it wasn't evident. Yeah, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? I've been in a broken down trailer tractor before. Does that count? Mild bear noises, aren't you? I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can't just leave my buses. There's not been any post since, well, years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to sawdust and give this to Beanie for me? I don't know who that is, but sure. She usually hangs around the fire watchtower. This man just trusted a bear with a letter. What kind of maniac is this? So, did you find any grub? Yep, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Mmm, just like mom used to make. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll, I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Uh, what other stinking stuff would you want? I mean, real valuables. Okay. What have we got? Well, if this one's free, we should optimize and pick the thing that's going to give us the most. Or can I go hog wild and pick, like, all of these things? I can't tell. I think I may have spent money eventually. Took Snumpster is your one-stop shop for decorative objects. Took accepts valuables as currency. The world is littered with them. Literally. Guests will also leave behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy decorative objects from Took. Okay. I collected a bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. These are considered valuables. Oh, look, a rug. Oh, no, there's a painting. Here's a rug. Let's get a rug. Let's get a painting. So, how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time. Dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, I'm, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. It was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch on snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, you've been coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably makes a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim, slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. Rich people do dump the best junk. I got stories, okay? 
I got stories because I used to work. Uh, my last job, our building was right next door to, we'll call it one of those like middle aged woman ventures who basically it kind of turns out her really rich husband is just like funneling money into it because he's like, yeah, honey, just, you know, have fun, do your thing if you want to, whatever. So they would just like update their stuff every single year or something like that. I've gotten two audio video receivers, like perfectly good Sony. Uh, one's a Sony, one's a little fancier. Um, and they would just throw stuff out. They throw this stuff out, and I'm like, I'm gonna go take it. It's like right on top of just a bunch of cardboard. I'm like, I'm, it's mine now. They can't stop me. I'll tell you what. Since you're fixing up the fixing up the old shed for him, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. I'm just getting the hang of it. it sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. You got me there, boy. You got me there. So... Do we... Hmm. Guess we talk to Beaver first. Huh. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, um... Hello. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? What authority is that exactly? Um, well... Well... Oh, marvelous! The old travel kiosk was a jewel of timber... was the jewel of timber crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallel piped. Parallel piped. Yeah, I. I rectangular? So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. That'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right? Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. As usual, my son. Student. Yes. That's what I said. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble and we'll get to the building. Okay. There's no good sprint button. I would love a sprint button. It seems like all of it. Oh. Oh, the sweet lord in the heavens. I am tired. Yo, Dig, what's going on, Dig? How's it going? Bear. Bear. So, all clean? Yep, almost sparkling. Phone, knock it out. Phone, keep doing the thing. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans looked for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get to get them just right. There's a few oddities I need to get it all together. I'm on the bear. No, I mean the bike. On the bike, yes. You're riding the bear. I mean the bike. 
riding that bear. Anyway, now I'll need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. Also, there's an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great! Treasure hunt! Take your time. I'll put together everything else in the meantime. Okay, so we have quite the shopping list all of a sudden. I'll talk to you in a minute. A pen on a string. That was the writing apparatus. Got it. I was assuming something a little bit more technological... More technical, technologically advanced than just... Haha! Pen! Uh, so we gotta go up to... I think it's down? No, it's not down. It's this way? Where was sawdust? This was sawdust. Got it. Trying to hide from me there, eh, Wood? Oh, there's an even bigger pile right here. Nope, it's a fairly normal pile. Gather all the wood. Run through the bushes. I say, I'm assuming that that is, in fact, the thing I want to take. Hello. I don't believe we've met yet. Why on earth is this just park ranger not flabbergasted and amazed at the fact that there's just a bear that walked up into her tower post? I would be panicking the fuck out. Panicking. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. With my feetsies. Burbling bear noises. Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Oh wait. You can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. Can't help you with that one, game. Can't help you with that one. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm just yoking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way up here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's, uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a bean. I get it. Or, it's a bean if you're my mom. But, I like, um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. Gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie. Such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. That weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? It's not a weasel. No, I understand the resemblance. No, 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 no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago, and he'd barely gotten his driver's license, and I had a and I had a much smaller hat. What does that mean? We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen. Listen. I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Compass. Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Faster, huh? What was that noise? I'm not going to talk to you right now. You're just going to add quests to me. The area map can be accessed through the map button next to the minimap. Fabulous. The area map shows all the important markers and landmarks in the vicinity. So, that's the local map. Hmm. Hmm. Why not simply punch the trees? Eh, fair argument. 
Munching was probably easier. I see wood, I take wood. Uh, hello, hello. What up, Wave? What up, Jordan? How's this game been so far? A little talkative. Um, little slow. And it's... How it's telling me to do things. I think we're an hour in and we're still doing tutorial stuff. But, very charming, all the same. Uh, the humor is on point. I very much enjoy the humor. Where am I going? Oh, I was supposed to go keep going back that way. But I guess I'll talk to this man. I guess I'll talk to the weasel. Back already, bud? Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? Affirming bear noises. Very charming. Yep. Uh, affirming bear noises. Roar. Oh, you're the man, bud. Or bear. Sorry. I'm the bear. So, what did she say? She gave me this. She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible. I'm going to quit saying bud. It's annoying me. No, oh, drawing all of this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Uh, of course. Uh, of course. I didn't even read it. I just said it. Look, there's sawdust and High Lake. And look, this is where we are. Oh, uh, probably even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. Ooh, ooh. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while. Just me and my buses. But just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. But with all the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets or for money anyway. Alright, cool. And Atlas. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? So fix the thing next to the shed. Atlas. You've obtained the Atlas, which unlocks the world map view. Cool. World map can be accessed by clicking on the map button. The world map button in the area map panel. Weird. My sleep schedule is slowly going around. I went to sleep at noon and just woke up now. Tomorrow I'll probably go to bed at 2. Wake up even later. Film. Yeah, like what Dag said, like a week? Round spouts? Round spouts, you'd be like, oh, I'll be good in a week. Uh, here you can see where Hank is in the world as well as what areas you've discovered. Cool, cool. So this unlocks fast travel. Key, key. Um, let's go get the the book the book i like how we told our mother in the game that it's like don't worry we'll only be gone for like the space of an afternoon doesn't come back home just straight up dies how's that uh, no matter what i do i just it just always goes around Always around. This is the Hobbit house. This is absolutely a Hobbit house. Book. Book. Let me out. Let me out. Path is cleared. Look, I didn't even know what that was supposed to do. All I know is that it was, you know, there and capable. So I destroyed it. It didn't tell me not to do it, so I did it. What's the big deal? Alright, we can finally go past the fence. If we go past this fence, everything should be peachy, right? Hmm. 
Let's see. Let's see. Hold up. Oh, wait. First, I'm gonna... Nope, not that button. go there we made the uh, we made the place look nice hold on how do I oh yeah I gotta look at the front desk to be able to do that hold up let me look at the front desk show me the details we are still only a prestige level one. We need 15 to get to level two. God damn. Well, I'll talk to this man. Yeah, destroying it. Mm, crushing it. Oh my goodness. Why am I so popular? Were you able to find everything? Yeah, it took, it took a while, but here you go. Oh, yes. Yes. This is everything I need. Fabulous. Oh, yep. Me and you, we're going to walk over there and look at it together. Yeah. Won't take long. That didn't take long at all. Just like new. You did all this with an ABC book, a pen on a string, and what else did you want? What else did he want? Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Lagoria. Excuse me? Yeah. It's 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in the dumpster the other day. That's That's pretty gross. No, 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 you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. Who's the cheese? Who's the big cheese? Hello, Mr. Beaver. All right, Hank, my boy. A PC? Was that what we had? An old computer? I think it was an old computer. I think you're right. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead. Uh, bleh. I think there's quite a bit... <laughs> Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Does the beaver have a crush on our mom? Took the garbage. What can I buy? Ooh, you got neat stuff now. Well, we obviously want a small table lamp. Possum clock. Absolutely we want a possum clock. I don't have enough. Uh, decorative barrel? Small blue rug. Retro jukebox. I want a jukebox. Uh, we need like four points, I think. That's three. And that'll be four. All right. Let's go fix up the old homestead. Like a shop contents, uh, complete a quest and progressing through the story unlocks more items for sale in the shops. You don't say. Blueprints and cooking recipes only need to be bought one time. Once learned, they will disappear from the shop. Okay. Good to know. Tap that. Inventory.
What do you mean? Sure, why not? Alright, that should... Be everything? Bam. Did it. That's everything. Okay. So we got the room all schmancied up. I think we're almost done with the tutorial. This tutorial has taken a hot minute. Property Prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. Press the green button. Hold on. Uh, work, stop. Why is work so adamant this evening? Work is very adamant this evening with making sure that I am keeping up with, like, my emails and everything. It's because we just recently, like, moved to our house and there's a whole bunch of stuff kind of going on. Four miles complete. Complete even. Or, four miles compete. Completed even. Dig, well done. I'm so proud of you. Uh, I barely... Well, that's not true. I was gonna say, like, I barely stood up from my chair today. And that's also not true. Because I was on my feet for, like, ten hours today. Even during lunch, I was up on my feet. That one sucked. But there was a taco truck that we were like, we want to go try the taco truck in this new town that we're in. So we were like, try the taco truck? So we tried the taco truck. You shouldn't be doing work after work. I shouldn't. And yet, I do. Like, all the time. All the time I do it. There we go. I think that'll do. And my partner is doing some kick-ass exercise, too. See? Everyone's doing the good exercise. And it's wonderful. I'm so happy for everyone. Uh, then stop. I can't. Uh, I agree with Wave. I can't. Doesn't work that way. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations! You've increased your property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is... 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Sounds about right, yeah. Congrats, you're earning marginal amounts more. Keep working. Great. Did you get that bus stop fixed? Approving bear noises. Hold on, I can... What's approving bear noise sound? Rawr. That's great news. He got the point. A little too gargle. A little too much water in the throat. Hold on. There. More water in the throat. Rawr. Actually, that worked out pretty well. I don't know if it came through the mic at all, but... Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen bologna. Strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. And did raccoon just steal his sandwich? Now you can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash. Slap a new sign on it. Alright. Oliver's Toolbox. New items available for, 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 available for purchase. Cool. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. Thank you. Hank. Hank, where are you? I'm right here. <laughs> Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to do some lumber. And then we made a bed for humans. I'm... Where did you find the alligator weed? Oh. We, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yes? Ooh, ooh. Uh. Mm. Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. We have to go home. 
This man's gonna be in trouble with mother. After I pick up this wood, though. So much wood, oh my gosh. Uh, the Bergen bus station can be found throughout the world. Bring a bus station in area unlocks fast travel to and from that location. Phew. Uh, bus posters can be found in all of our shop, among other oddities and progression items. Okay, cool. Seems easy enough. Hank? Kids? Huh? Worried mother bear noises. Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious. Are you all right? Did something happen? No, okay, Mom. N nothing happened. All right, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you! I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> Bear noises intensify. <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what now? And we're helping. I see. Well, don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit. They'll bring money and trash. And we'll get to learn all about them. And I get to make stuff for them. Me. Tony taught me how to build a bed. And I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. Amen, brother. Amen, bear. I know it does. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah. We gotta go check on our humans. Trucker cap. All right, dear, at least don't forget your hat next time, in case it rains. And get some rest. Hello, bird. What do you want? Oh, you're not a bird. Oh, don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I did no such thing. This bear is so me. Relax. It's a good thing. It, it is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate. Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why, why would I do that? So I'll make an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> old man giggle. That's an old man laugh. Aw, kitty grooming time. It's, it's like a half groom. She's she's refuses to get up. She's still just like right there. Hi. Until I disrupt her and she realized like, oh, I'm, I'm being watched. Or, I don't know. I guess you could refuse it, but it's a, it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want. I don't care. New roots unlocked toward the A24. That was weird. He's still right there, and we're just talking about him behind his back. He's like, that that rat was weird. I can still hear you, 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 you stupid bear. My old man voice is getting much better. I'm loving this. You strike, you strike me as a real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. Oh, hold on, I should, uh... I should absent the bird? Where did it say the world map was and how does fast travel? How does fast travel? You strike me as a bear kind of person. Bear. I barely know what that means. Mm. 
No one can be afraid of me now. I have a hat. People can't be afraid of me if I'm wearing a hat. You could be a nice table. Oh, wh who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening at all. Oh. That's all right. You're not the first critter I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Sorry, cat. <laughs> you didn't like that one. Cat didn't like that one. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been keeping... I'm been... Uh, bleh. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a Joffrey Jeffrey from a blue shag. I'm begging, begging your pardon, madam. Do you know where you are? Uh, uh, yeah, I've lived here all my life. Rawr. Oh, of course you don't. Cat looks so offended. It did not like the questioning bear noises. You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs in this side of the valley. Or, well, it used to be. She talking about mushrooms? A blue shag? If it is, it's a weird sounding mushroom. But I'd, I'd be willing to give it a taste. Uh, yeah, work. Eh. Work stuff. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Although, lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawn people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? I may have put a few things together. <laughs> I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, this was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. I juggled it. They're pine trees. Really? Hmm. I did not know that. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Yeah, well, yeah. Bye, old lady. She seems nice. Take all the wood. Wow, I got so many guest requests. Oh my goodness. Uh. Uh. I have a 5 and a 14. Okay. So I can't do any of the fours. You do this person though. Yeah, except that person. So now by all accounts, everything should be good. Run well. Can I build another room though? Build a luxury one here. What do you mean I don't know how to make a bed? Must not have all the stuff to do it. Hmm. Well, now that brings into question, uh, what do I need to build it? Is it just a matter of like more wood, more whatevers? I'll find more whatevers. I can find lots of whatevers. Oh, 
find all kinds of things. It's a bad time for my cat too. Yeah, she's still going at it, isn't she? Uh, it's one of the small benefits of having a cat is they'll just take care of it themselves. And I don't have to bother. And I'm like, oh good, I didn't really want to bother with having to clean you. No offense or nothing, cat, but, you know. Oh, okay, so those, I, I picked up trash and it's like, valuables. I'm like, what? I don't think I can handle the bus life. Like, bus life ain't for everyone. Sometimes the bus life just picks you, though. Wanted some uh, trash and whatnot around my place, though. Oh, look, more wood. Can I make a bed? Yes, I can. Okay. Got it. I understand. Well, I understand better than before. Oh, screw off, you son of a biscuit. Go south of Timber Crossing and enter the A24. All right, we might as well do that quest. I mean, I wonder what I got to lose. Love having cats 100%, except the fur everywhere. And cat loudly sings the song of the people when it's time for me to wake up or it's meal time. I mean, that's just one of those, you know, comes with the territory as you all of a sudden get told, hey, I'm hungry. And you're like, well, I guess feeding has to happen. I mean, it can't not happen. If eating just suddenly didn't happen, Cat would throw a fit. Ooh, I got some, like, red cloth that time around. Not there. Oh, wait. Where is this one? Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh-oh. Ten o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No, no, not, not, not yet, anyway. I'm very close to just feeding them whenever they start getting annoying. Years of keeping them on a schedule is not sunk in with them. Sunk in with my cat. My cat's like... But my cat will not miss a beat. She'll be like, Hey, you know what time it is? It's 3 o'clock. Feed now. She will come right up here. Or same thing at night. She'll just be like... Just right on up and be like... It's time to look me dead in the eyes. And be like, it's time to eat. Hi. Yeah, you get that good chin scritch. Did I read this line? I'll read it again. No, no, not not yet anyway. How'd you find how'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. Yeah, it really is thinner up there, ain't it? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. Trying to need to know kind of basis. Need to know basis. Well, I kind of need to know? You won't get far with that attitude, kid. 
Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. Uh, what place? <laughs> what place? This place. Everything the stench touches. I feed them at 9 p.m. Um, Waves the cats need a bath. Ooh, bathe the cat. 9 p.m. my time. 30 minutes from now. They've been antsy since 7 freaking 30. Oh, cats. Good luck with that. The food bowl is empty. Help. Help, please. I see you speak cat. Yeah, Only on occasion. Mostly it's either I want food, I crave violence, or, you know, hey, I'm going to cuddle up on your neck and you're not going to do anything to stop me. Do I really need more than that? I don't know. Every way, everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good. Bringing people back up in the valley. That's good news for everybody, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Clever will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenge runs. I was suddenly... I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no Wade. Just the low hiss of the swamp. You have no idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and run. Otherwise, you'll... You'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer set foot in the place. I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here, if you get his weight back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I'd check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Okay. So we have missions to do, we got people to tend to, we got all kinds of things. I'm on the wrong side of the door. Fix it. My cat is always on the wrong side of the door, and she can't figure it out. Which one's the world map? World map, there we go. Black moss, thicket, sawdust, timber. Um... So I have a question, can I... Go this way? I absolutely can. Cats have three mode. I crave food, I crave violence, I crave love. Yeah. Cats are, uh... Cats are weird like that. Maybe not weird. I mean, let's be honest. I think everybody has those same three modes. Is that a freaking crocodile? Crocodile or alligator, you'll tell me. Hello? Ah, uh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from the trees? Oh, no, I was just looking. Cause I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. It's pretty much all they do. Sure as hell ain't doing it for you. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend? Here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small, and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no. It's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where Wade where bad I, I know where Wade is. There we go. Unfortunately. Come inside. In, inside. Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. No. No, shucks. Oh, here we go. Oh, what does Wade sound like? And then, just just before the tire hit, 
Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Tweet one. Oh golly! Then what happened? Uh, what did I just do for this? What did I just do for Wade? I did kind of fat. We got the piece and scrammed. Wow! And what was it like? The the thing? Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest catalysmic comforter. Comforter? Yeah. You've ever seen. Wow. Stank too. Real bad. You think a cockroach lived in and lived in it before we found it. Wow. Twig? What'd I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade? Are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, he is. Festering nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you know what I mean, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. Uh, she got some eye glow in her eyes. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Trust, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talked to Mr. Ray? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. That's right, isn't leaving this place just like that? But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do. But now you want to take him. So there's value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. Won't find him anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. He just gets him here anyway. Ipswich Wholesale. Interesting. Is this the Ipswich place? Whatever. Awesome. Bring me back a few and I'll see about Joe breaking your new friend. Your newfound friend. Okay. Why am I zoomed up so much? Oh my goodness. Why was I zoomed up? Is that what... Okay, so that's what these things I've been picking up are. So that means I've got like three, right? Oh, find a few more. There's one. Oh. So I'm good? Oh, this is all water, and that's why I couldn't cross it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. It's all coming together now. It's all making sense. I'm a professional, some might say. Yes, sirree. That's what some would say. Or some might say that. Don't know what that was, but it had a bunch of stuff in it. Well, I had, the, I had the stuff to fix that, so... Neat. Collect all the things. I'll be editing more Morgue today. Woo! Look, Morgue is just... The Mortuary is just as fun to watch over and over again as it is for anyone. New episode tomorrow when nothing is ready. So... I'm gonna get this done after the stream. After the stream. Got what I asked for? A dozen lilies, like you said. One, um, two. Yeah, that looks right. Good. It's better be worth your time. Because next time you're taking them back in a jar. And paying double. 
Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlie can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Trust, child. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator. Also, it was an alligator. Struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick to landing. It's evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. I like Twiggy. Who, by their mere tiny presence, debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's the hope, at least. Alright, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am? Scram. Yes, ma'am! Like, he wasn't even being held hostage. He just basically said, get out. Okay. Could you, like, not do what you're doing right now? Oh my goodness. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I got a mission to fulfill. Sadly, outside of his stuff, so it's all mine, right? Hold on, there's a lot of valuable stuff out here. Hold up. Ooh, look at all that junk. Look at all those chickens. They, they have this problem of, like, Anton is the one that's shown, but he's not the one highlighted. Yeah. Hmm. Think you watched the Disney Pinocchio remake? Probably not. I haven't watched any Disney remake, actually. I haven't seen... I haven't seen Jungle Book. I haven't seen Aladdin. I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast. I'm probably not going to see Little Mermaid. I'm probably not going to see Pinocchio. I don't even know what other live actions there are, but I have not seen a single one of them. Which is probably for the best. Mostly for my sanity. Anyway, look. So they highlight the middle rat, the fat boy. But he is speaking. It's weird to me. And you are not stepping one foot outside of this stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. Alright, well, we help the man. The first rule of garb archaeology is the cream always rises to the top. So you make sure make sure you dig down deep. Claire's obviously the right hand of the operation. Her scale of finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton the boss seems like a real hard ass, but I guess you got to be in this line. You got to be in this in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting. Useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. And the rats. I always say I've had enough of him. But then I remember the advantages of having an extra pair of paws on hand. Like for sending out on wild goose chases? Exactly! You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's only... There's another end of this bargain. We always keep our word. So what do I get access to? Everything? I get to just go in there and rummage? Saw Beauty and the Beast. Remake. It was meh. I think I like Jungle Book okay, though. What was the... the uh, Lion King was another live-action one that they did, right? Still haven't seen that one. I'm trying to think of... I kind of think that's it. Isn't that all of them? What else was there? I'm just going to collect stuff. Don't stop me now. No. Having a good time. 
Digging through trash, yeah! Having a good time, having a trash time. Something, something through the skies. Something, yeah. Come on, there's just more trash out here. Lion King was completely butchered. Yes, you missed my message about Mary Poppins. Oh, there was a... Oh, yeah, I saw Mary Poppins. The only good part was the traditionally animated segments, which were too short. I didn't even know they... I forgot they redid Mary Poppins, too. But Mary Poppins was already live-action. Does that count? Does that count as a live-action remake if it was already a live-action? Some might argue... No. And I might be one of those people who would argue such a stance. Disney, we're coming for your childhood. Mary Poppins wasn't my childhood. That movie was old when I got born. More like a Disney were coming for somebody's childhood. Oh, look, more wood. Fabulous. Fabulous. Alright, that lady seems nice and cozy in her bed. That's good. Let me go talk to... What's his ass? The trash boy. Couldn't remember his name. Um, I've got 142. And I need to buy some more stuff. Rustic coffee table. Lamp. Uh... A book cabinet. Still want that possum, but I can't afford it. And a table lamp. Alright. We're gonna decorate the second room and make it look all schnazzy. Because it's gotta be just a little bit schnazzier than the other one, because it's slightly bigger. Should I... Can I build, like, a bathroom in here or something? Is that a thing I gotta do? No, I like it. Didn't I have a rug? So, that one's a 5 comfort and 18 nice. This one's a 5 comfort as well. Okay. Seriously, didn't I... Can't I make, like, a rug or something? Is there a rug I can make? Nope. Nope. No, I cannot. Uh, but regardless, now we have access to being able to be all like, Oh, the motel. I did not see that. I'm one point away from that. Oh, you son of a biscuit. No guest requests. Ugh. Maybe it's only like during the day. Hold on, let me go talk to the raccoon again. Let me get a... Let me get yet another... There, I got a nice rug. Oh, 
All of these uh, do the same thing. None of them do comfort. They just do, like, prestige. Wrong spot. It's beautiful. Now, we're a level 3 prestige. Hells to the yes. Um, I think one of the first things for a bed and breakfast would be getting the best beds you can. Uh, I can only get one. I got a 5 star from this person. Sweet. Oh, they paid me money. What am I doing with money again? Don't even remember. I don't even remember. Let me make sure one more. Um. What am I doing now? What am I doing now? What am I doing now? I always want to be a race car driver. Not many bus Grand Prix out there, I'll tell you. I guess you got nothing for me. Maybe I talk to the shark? I'll talk to the shark. What does the shark have to say about anything? Oh, you've got an exclamation mark. Congratulations! It seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door, door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Pond Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Looks like the property in this area isn't up to par yet. Come back later when a, sta when a standard, yeah, any standard, is achieved. Didn't a person stay? Complete the stay for at least one plus one more guest in Timber Crossing. There it is. So we got the... It was the whole like, oh, they need to actually have two guests now kind of thing. Can I do that yet? Still no better than requests. Son of a biscuit. Fine, I'll wander around and I'll collect some stuff. You happy? This person will leave and then it might trigger the event or whatever. Maybe I also go collect stuff down here in the whatever. Sleep the night. So it's still night, technically. Okay. By the way, my end stream a little earlier tonight. I'm kind of like uber, uber tired. Because running on four hours of sleep and then working a ten hour shift and then coming home and streaming is hard on my knees. I don't want to be here. Do I? I don't think so. This is not the best place to go. Where was that one spot that had, like, a ton of wood in it? I'm trying to think of what place that... Yeah, what was that place even? Get those Zs. Oh, wouldn't that be the life? Wouldn't that be just the dream? Hmm. Well, it says we're officially past, uh... Nighttime now, because I wouldn't let me... Oh, this is the place where I found a whole bunch of stuff, huh? Yeah. Alright.
do a bit of a scavenge scavenge. Ha! Huh, tried to hide this from me, did you? Oh, I completed the thing. The person checked out. Now they're like, oh, okay, see ya. Hold on, before I do that, let's see if we can't get a couple people in this time around. Does it mean are these covers crooked? He's coming in here and leaving crooked things. I'm going to put you in that one, lady, because you're going to have a high expectation. There we go. Couple of guests. Talk to a shark. Our business partner is an inflatable shark with a radio in him. Always make sure your property is up to Pond Voyage's uncompromising standards. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. Damn skippy they are, Bear. Damn skippy. Congratulations, you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements of to being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. But enough talk about a bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pond Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Pond Network, find your local Pond Shark and just press the green button. Okay. Timber Crossing Placard. Welcome to the Pond Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location, also increasing payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, I think it's supposed to say premises. Anyway, you must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for another plus two guests in Timber Crossing. Reward? A cool new pair of pants. Oh, I want those pair. I want those pants, boy. Would you like to accept this job? Abs I gotta have those pants. I don't know what they look like. I don't know what they are, but I gotta, I gotta get me them pants. Yes. Task in progress. Please return once the job is complete. Okay. Can do. Um. Well, we just basically told those other two people to be like, hey, you can come in at any time now. So can I rearrange? Can I move where this? Uh, I think this is what I had it on. I want to make it look decent. I want to make it look decent. Fire Red Lily. Welcome into the first chat. Welcome. How are you? How was your evening? How are things? Talk to us. How's it going? We are playing Fair and Breakfast. The striped line is where the guests walk up to, by the way. It's better than ever. Doing all right, winding down before sleep. Amen to that. I'm kind of like on my last little bit of leg, even though it's been like a short stream night. It's one of those days where I'm sitting here like, I got four hours of sleep. I think seven in the past two days. So I'm kind of in one of those. I'm a little loopy. Drinking a bit of water, eating some gummy bears. Playing Baron Breakfast for the first time. I can say it's interesting. Uh, it's a little slow start. Little slow start. Played about 44 hours of this game. Oh my goodness. So I want to check out some other folks and what they're playing. Oh, other folks that were playing. I can read tonight. Believe me, I can read. I went to college to know how to do it better. I just... I, I can't, apparently. Um... 
Okay, so I interact from it from that side too. Okay, so it makes sense. It looks nice right there. I like it kind of like that. Make it look like I have a little back panel. One of these days I'll make a bathroom in that as soon as I know how. Just remodel my timber crossing to have all the doors on the outside. Oh, that's clever. Okay, so that way you could have a centralized system. You have like, literally I walk in the door and I touch your desk and that's it. And you just walk in. Hmm. No hallway. No hallway can work. Do I get to make a bathroom eventually? That's a, that's a question I have. I want to make a bathroom. Anyway, we're only about like two hours into it. And a bunch of stuff here. Oh, I get... Yeah. I get stuff. More money, more stuff. Do you actually want the answer? Hold on, let me eat a gummy bear. Sure, hit me with it. The gummy bear answered. The gummy bear was like, yeah, you do. Yes to building a bathroom. No in timber crossing. Got it. So it's going to be one of those basic management kind of styles where they're like, this is your, you know, little baby one. Now we're going to throw some more stuff at you. Kind of like when you play, like, either a Sim City that's not Sims, like, any of the Sim games that are, like, super, super simplified in the very, very beginning. And then they're like, now you can buy a mansion, but, uh, strap in. Different areas add more room types. And your lower levels, level areas stay pretty basic. Awesome. Oh, it's like a... What's it called? The the hospital one. Flash something hospital. No. Something point hospital. God damn it. Oh, that's a building. Two point hospital. There it is. I got it. I was pretty close. I was like, I know it's point something. Give me all the trash. Give me all the trash. This is my next one on the list, I believe. I think this is the next one. Bathrooms are pretty basic, though. Everyone needs to do bathroom things. Not if you're a bear and you're in the woods. If you're a bear in the woods, fuck it. Timber Crossing had an outhouse you could build. They don't need indoor plumbing. I probably could go build that. You are not wrong about that one. I had enough stuff to do that, so... Oh, is this going to be one of those, like, it's bigger by, like, not a small margin, but, like, a... No, no, like, two buildings to kind of manage business? Okay. So far, the game is quite charming. I enjoy the characters. Uh, you've missed some of my voice acting, which... May or may not be a good thing, I'm not entirely certain. Some people tell me I'm a decent decent enough voice actor on some things, but I'm not gonna lay claim to that one. This game actually gets a Switch release in two days. I think that's why I saw it back in the news again. I was like, it, I think it's about time. So, because I bought this game back in July when it came out. I was like, it looks super charming. I want to play it. I've been trying to get it into a schedule. I saw it on an on one of my feeds recently and was like, I should just boot that up. So I scheduled it for this week to start planning. The 15th following that, they'll work on content updates. I like content update. I always can appreciate a good content update. Free content update? We can only hope it's free. If it ain't free, I don't know. Can I pick up these cones? No, I can't pick up the cones. That's fine. Who are you? Uh, what kind of voice does Gus have? Uh, Gus has one of these, like, lame types. He's got the pads on the jacket. Ever walk into a room and forget why you went in there? Been feeling that since the day I was born. Thanks, Gus. I... 
Thought you were actually going to give me something interesting, and I gave you a voice and you disappointed me. I like Anton, though. Should be free, yes. Okay. Not heard any mention of paid DLC. That's good. In that case, I'm more intrigued. Which means I'll probably play it more. Um, I can see where 44 hours will go, though. I think that's one of those things. Ooh, what's this? Can I build it? Yeah, I can build that. Do it. <gasps> it's a bear statue. Incredible sample of modern art, plus one extra guest request per day in this area. Fabulous. Neat. See, now I'm in that state of, like, I'm just walking around and I'm touching stuff. I've honestly been taking my time updating my hotels. Okay. I, this game really feels like one of those things that I could, like, burn through it if I... If I absolutely tried to speedrun, I could probably burn through it, because it's like, you know exactly what you're getting. You can even pick it up before the thing asks you for it. Like, I think there was one quest where it was like, I just picked up stuff because I saw shiny things on the ground, and I was like, sweet. Speedrun record is something like 15 in-game days, I think. Damn, son. And I'm like, I'm on day seven. So, needless to say, we're not hitting the speedrun record today. However, however... Probably not in the future either, but I'm not, you know, going to sit here and boast. Hell, I barely figured out how the map works. I have these places. All oh, these places look neat. This one would be a cool area. All right. I'm excited for more stuff, though. Wait, why do I have a little shark? Oh, yeah, shark. So that one's for that one. Are both of these connected? Oh, or is this like a store or something that I'm going to have to... What does this do? Diner sign. Yep. Tony's Construction Services. No available instructions. Got it. Yep. Diner. I think I said it right after, right before I read her. It's like, is this like a restaurant kind of thing? Made it. Just past day 100. Damn. Have you made friends with Oliver yet? I have. Well, at the very least, I like sent him stuff. I could fix that, uh, the, that thingy, huh? There we go. Fix that up. Okay, just take me there. That's exactly why I asked. Yep. I was about to say, I'm like, there's a fast travel button, ain't there? Yep, there sure is, and we can just use it. And will be like, I gotcha. I'm Mr. Trash Man. Professional trash talker at your disposal. At your garbage disposal, that is. I like him. What's my favorite so far? I like Anton. Anton makes me ill, but I think that's because my old man voice is coming in like pretty primo as of late. I've been doing a pretty good job with my old man voice. I like Annie. Annie's the Annie's the dog. I don't have a good voice for her. I didn't really give her one. Uh, though, I, I feel like uh, the little bird, what's his name? Will is like my spirit animal. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm a very different on the inside as versus the outside kind of individual. So it's one of those like, yeah, it makes sense to me. Um, let's see. All right, you people are. Did you sleep and stay? Was that everything? Did you even show up? These people even show up? I don't have to be here for them to show up, do I? Could have swore I was like... Hold up, hold up. Arrives tomorrow. There it is. Alright, figured it out. I figured it out. I love the sleeping bear animation when you pass the night. Oh, there's a... Hold on, hold on. Just be like, hold on, just let me, uh, let me pass out on the floor here. 
I'm glad to know that that button works. I have not pressed that button yet. So good. So good. So far, like, I love the character design. I love the dialogue. The dialogue has been very good. Because it's right up my alley with that type of humor. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, those people need to finish their stay. Um, I could, I guess, go start doing the next spot. I've got a bunch of shit here. Let's collect more, though, because I am an absolute trash panda monkey. An absolute trash monkey. Let's just... Yeah. Yeah. Travel. Take me. I want to be, like, right next to the thing. I want to go talk to the shark. Let's talk to the shark. Because this thing's just going to do it its own thing in its own time. Become your inner trash panda. Trash. It's mostly the dark circles. You can see the dark circles on my eyes and then like, yep, absolute raccoon. Okay, I have a story for this. I have a story. And I love telling this story. Because it explains exactly why my spirit animal is in fact a raccoon. So, when Avengers Endgame came out to theaters, I didn't see it for like three weeks. Okay? Three weeks, I just didn't see it. And then one day I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to go watch it. So I went to a theater and I bought a ticket for 11 p.m. at night on a Wednesday. On a goddamn Wednesday at 11 p.m. And I was just like, I'm just going to go see this movie. And I went and saw the movie. There was me in the top row. There was a couple four rows in front of me. And then there was like three friends all the way in the front. And that was it. That was everyone in the theater. And I watched it. The movie was fine. It has absolutely nothing to do with the movie. But after the movie, when the movie was over, and the lights, like, sort of dim up, I kind of, like, I stand up and I stretch. And I look down, and the couple beneath me had set their popcorn on the seat next to them. And it was, like, it was so full that only, like, that much of the lid of the brim was showing. And I was just, like... I was going to get up and leave, but if they leave that popcorn there, I'm going to steal that son of a bitch. And I sat there and I watched them like a hawk, ready to eat popcorn. At one in the goddamn morning, I watched them. And then they got up and they left. And I was like, okay, now we just, we wait for them to go out the side door because I don't want them to see me like suddenly go rummage through their stuff. So they just left it there. As soon as I, they were out of sight, I climbed down those steps and I got me a whole, like, bucket of free popcorn. And I was like, I am such a raccoon for this whole endeavor. <sighs> no shame. Remember what you did in the Tossers premiere? Yes? No oh, man, especially if they leave behind the free refill popcorn tubs. It was a free refill. Uh, I think they had used the tab though. I think that's why it was so full. But I'm I'm not kidding. So the bucket was like one of those tall ones, right? It's like one of the big ones, and only like that much was missing. So th there was a whole bucket, pretty much, of just like fresh, maybe thirty minute, maybe an, an hour old popcorn. And I was like, I'm sold. Not to mention, like, I love day-old popcorn. Day-old popcorn is the best. I don't know what it is. But day-old popcorn, especially from a theater, that all that butter just takes longer. It just settles in there, and it just... Mm. He stole a fresh bag of popcorn from the garbage as he was... Le oh. Yep, I sure did. I did steal more popcorn from a theater. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I ate that popcorn too, it was delicious. Especially because that was like local, that was local theater popcorn. Also, I adore Finn. Is this Finn? Okay. Hold on, let me do my, <clears throat> let me get my salesperson voice out. Press the green button, here we go. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing, escape, electrifying enterprise. Yes, you've, you've said that. I'm already part of one, in fact. 
Welcome to the arid plains. The desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish suit around, right? The A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum, the tunes of old country roads. This is the only, this is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. Come on. Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities, which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. I actually already cleaned them. It's great. You should always trust your senses. Thanks. Thanks, shark. Check the sign next to the motel to start repairing it. Fabulous. Look forward to hearing your voice for him. That was my voice. I did the thing. Motel sign. Tony's construction service. I, I like my Anton voice. My old, like the old rat at the dump. I love his, I like his voice. But then again, that's one I've been practicing for my, for our Sunday stuff. Grab opportunity by the throat. He said as you walked up. Yeah. I always by the throat. Some, this man in throats. Would you like to repair it? Sure, zippity doo dah. Yes, I would. Throw out any debris and garbage inside the structure. Okay, well done. Well done, me. Many shark puns. Many a shark pun. Where's Anton? I want to talk to Anton for a hot second. I like his voice. I've been practicing my old man voice because, uh, on Sundays, me and friends get together and we also. A turkey! Ipswich. What? What is what is the what does a turkey sound like? You're not a turkey. You are a turkey. What the fuck are you? What do I do with all the money? There's a particular question from someone who's minding their own bus their own business. I can't. I didn't do a good turkey voice. That was not a good turkey voice. The, he sells shit. Got it. I'm gonna go talk to the rat. I mean, does he have a quest? I kind of want to just talk to him and get a quest. And just talk to him. Map, I used to tell me to never grow old. I should have listened to him. I can do a good... I can do such a good old man. So, on Sundays, me and friends get together and we do voice acting streams where we play visual novel games and we do a bunch of fun voices and they're an absolute blast. They're one of my favorite days. And I've been recently trying to explore new voices that I could do. And so I've been trying to do, like, I'm shooting my shot at a bunch of them, basically. This is a dangerous little road. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, there's construction service. Is the structure clear of any debris and garbage? Absolutely. Good job. This is this is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know you did a good job. Step two: gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pinewood planks, iron nails, and stone. I'm fairly certain I have all that. Here you go. Have all the materials been acquired? Absolutely. Yep, they're all here. Step three, get your butt to work. Magic happened. Oh boy. How's the construction site going? Press the green button. Ah yes, Anton. The Raja of Rats, the Sultan of Scrap, the God of Other Garbage. You get the idea. Yeah, I like him. He's old. I'm kinda grumpy. But he's got a bit of sass to him. And I got—I uh, like a bit of sass. I'm exceptionally sassy at my work at our warehouse. But I'm only the purchaser, so I get, I'm get allowed to. I'm allowed to be like, you know, keep that up and I won't buy you shit. Astounding. You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position 
One. Out of one. Yeah, that's not bad. It is, certainly. Something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now pre precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly, yet not probably, profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over? Trick the humans to come over! I mean, offer a valued customer a room for lodging. Book a guest to the motel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms. Ooh! Oh, hold on. I can talk to Gus. He's got an exclamation mark. Hi. I was about to say, like, was that the only dialogue I'm going to be pissed? I gave this man a voice, and it's one of my favorite ones to do. In the middle of the desert, in a run-down metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. Fairly certain he's the only possum. Seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Although, by the looks of it, Gus's primary concern rem remained his charm and driving wheel. Does he carry a driving wheel? Oh, I love him. Hi. Oh, hello. Mm. I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. Hmm. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. I know! It's pissing me off! Don't need to. That's fair. Well, just wanted to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there. But I've only got the two. Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Thank you. What's with all the people? I, I could have read that line better. Actually, I might have a hand in that. Good. They've got the best food in baubles. And they scare easily. A jerk's dream. Don't seem like a jerk to me. Didn't we just call him rude like eight seconds ago? Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. We don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyway, they used to roam all over the place, reminding me of chickens. Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow. Only stopping for the occasional turd. Hold on. Definitely gotta wet, definitely gotta wet something to do that voice more. Living the dream, really. Well, you might start seeing more of them again. Doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stink up the place. And maybe don't burn the joint down again. All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and half a toilet. Yeah, top half or the bottom, because you only really need one of those. Fire almost got to my... my little driving wheel, too. I love my little wheel. Worst part is, sandwich turned out to be a stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How, how do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? I don't really like gambling. I love Hank. I love this bear. This bear is my favorite. Actually, okay, the bear's not my favorite. I've already said my favorite. The bear's a close second. Very, very close second. Humans are good at stinking up places and burning things down. Damn right we are. Part, you know, bit of pride with us. Make it sound like a bad thing. Lad, you've got a nice thick skin on you. That, or you're thick as gravy. Either way, I respect it. Thanks. I think your skin... I like your skin, too, I think? Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So, what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, right, right. So, making some extra beans on the side? 
getting a kick out of scaring their little mustaches off. I think they're pretty neat, and I like the building part. My buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Blah. What are you gonna use it for? Buying food? Nah. 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 Time. I imagine he had like one of those stuttered laugh at like, yeah. He goes and then it stops and it goes and it stops and it goes and it stops. <clears throat> well, Jesus Christ, his voice is hurting. Not hurting, it's just doing a number and I can't keep it up unless I'm wetting. I'm gonna stop wording. Hold on. Being stinky is a human social construct. In nature, everything is stinky. It's true. Barely any other animals try to hide smells and none of them do it because of social pressures. But if they had social pressures... Okay, hear me out. If an animal in the wild had a social pressure to clean itself, are they a bar soap kind of animal or are they a body wash kind of animal? Let's say a deer. Let's use a deer as an example. How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me. My diddly little self and I. I get it. You seem pretty cool to hang out with. Alright, enough. One more word like that and I'm done with you. They prefer tongue over soap. Eh. Yeah, but that's different. That's different. Let's see. It's probably... I think I want... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back. What's a special room? The distillery? Ooh. You maybe got me there. I have four, one, two, three, one. Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. Knock it off. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have a full ten to work with, which means if I do four and four, we have a two-lane hallway. That could work. Uh, what's this, then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. 10 by 19? That's such a janky... That's a weird one. That's a weird one. Give Gus the Possum a compliment. New quest. I tried. Didn't he get mad at... Oh, look at that. Scar didn't change it? Absolutely. I mean, I gotta I gotta sit here and map the brain math of that one out for a hot minute. Ooh, trash. Give me that trash. Gus, where'd you go? Oh. There he is. Come here, Gus. Are you done with your nonsense? Really want to be an ass. Actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're secretly really nice. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you've ever met. And you're probably the biggest one I've ever met. Bye, Gus. Love you. He's such a sweetheart. Did you ever start another conversation? I think you're right. Now he's just gone. Now he's just gone. What time is it? Do I wrap up? Do I try to sleep? Is it worth it? <laughs> you angered Gus, so he moved on to the next realm. Oh, my people left. Gonna go lie down once I finish drinking my water. Yeah, 
I'm kind of feeling that, uh, like I said, I think between the last two days I've been running on like seven hours of sleep and 20 hours of work. So it's one of those where I'm kind of in that like, I should probably try to wind down earlier than I usually do. So, oh, hi lady. Let me get these people squared away. I think one person was done because they're like, ah, they're not, they're, that person leaves tomorrow. So let's see, do we have anybody for like one day? Your expectations are going to grow. This, this guest expects a higher than average comfort score during their stay. All right, just, you know, bring in this man. There we go. Everything's fine. Everything's gonna work out right over there. Build the outhouse? You're right. I can't. Hmm. Is that Oliver? Oh, yeah. Oliver's the one I talked to for, like, upgrades and whatnot, huh? What are you doing under there, my dude? Can I just borrow your box? It was right there. I could sit in bed and play video games all day. They sure don't make them like they used to. How do they make them? Look, bud. I just... I just play them. Of course, I know who's been stealing my sandwiches. This week, it's lettuce and bologna. I hope they like it. Damn it. Toolbox. Let me buy a shit. There we go. Just wanted to talk to him and find out what he's up to. Oliver told us he could buy things from his tool shed. Oh, yeah. I may or may not have forgotten about that in my absolute delirium. Uh, definitely an attractive proposal for anyone in an emergency. Plus one extra guest request per day in this area. Fabulous. It is nice to know that he prepares his sandwiches for Took. I don't even know what the... I don't even know what the spelling was, but I need to sleep. Amen to that. Sandwich. That's why I think I'm gonna... Where's... Is it save at the beginning of every day? How do I save? What is this little thing? No, I'm not stuck. That's a really neat little button, though. Your progress will be saved. Absolutely. Fabulous. There we go. Ah. Good menu. Save in current state. Fabulous. Thank you, Fire Red Lily, for all the help and advice. Oh. I think I'm gonna actually sleep for a change. It also auto-saves every day. Okay, so it's like one of those games where it just auto-saves on your, uh, uh, what's it? I can't words. I'm not even gonna try anymore. Uh, yo, Fire Red Lily, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in officially, my guy. I hope you had a fun night. We'll definitely be playing this again. Maybe Friday. I don't have anything scheduled for Friday. To, uh, so, I'll talk about schedule before I do raid, because I know who I'm going to raid out to. We're going to go raid Maddie, because we love Maddie. Maddie's wonderful. Get some sleep, you tired bearded boy? Never. Now I can't. Now I can't just because you said it. Um, Maddie's playing Apex, so we're going to click on that. Let's talk about schedule. Schedule. Tomorrow is Raft, Friday, maybe more Bear and Breakfast, maybe. Uh, Tuesday after that, oh, we might also be doing something on Saturday. I, this is like a 60% chance. There's like a 60% chance I'm doing um, what was it? Monster Hunter World on Saturday. I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of working that one out. Be playing this on Sunday, but I don't advise visiting unless you want spoilers, because I'm way ahead of you. Uh, Sunday, we're gonna be over at Plague Palace Channel doing our voice, doing I think it's more Hustle Cat. I think we're playing Hustle Cat still. Uh, though I will have to come check out your channel, Fire Lily. I will definitely be around inspecting, because I gotta. 
I gotta follow up on you people. I gotta make sure you're all doing well and okay and such. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for everybody Lily again for the follow. Thanks for coming and hanging out, everybody. Um, I don't think I thanked Chef last time in the middle of the stream, because I think I just, like, petered out super, super hard last stream. Which, super understandable, all things considered. Uh, good night, good night. I hope you have a fan fabulous night, and I hope you succeed in all your endeavors. The raid's about to happen, so however you let me finish uh, doing the wrap-up thingy. Um, something, horror movies, gaming, spooktober. All right, we're going to go over here, and I'll talk to you all day. When I see you again, talk to you. Bye!